First thing, what we're gonna do? We're gonna. You can go here to Caddy okay. and you're under, under scope. Yeah, okay. There's an option that says layer set. Okay, so this is And then it's just one back with E and a controller. What is it you mentioned? Uh, no, not yet. I, what I did is I grabbed it here at the top. See, it's the same, same function. I just, I just, just grab it there instead of going to scope and then layer set up, but it's the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify a layer which we're going to use for our grid. Okay. And typically you'll do that for any any type of thing you want to do, um, walls, windows, doors, etc, etc. Right. So looking at the, the this uh, dialog box for the grid, yeah. <coughs> you'll see there's an option here that says sort by. Yeah, this, at this point is by creation, creation. I normally got it by index. Okay. So it's numerical. So your value here on the left hand side runs numerical. And if you grab okay. the tool by the, the scroll by the right, you can scroll okay. all the way down. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, the, you've obviously got my template loaded here. So there will be some layer settings here already set up. Things like walls, ground story walls first story etc so let's go for you'll, you'll see there's one here that says under 41 it says structural ground story structural first story okay. that's, typically, that's typically how you how you could it's not the way that you have to and that's not the be all and end all of it but that's typically okay. how you could um, separate or sort them on different layers for your different stories ground floor first floor etc but there's not one okay. for grid so what we're going to do is we can either create one or take one of the existing ones and use them. Okay. It doesn't take a lot of hours. The space, so if you've got uh, extra ones that you're not using, it's not a problem. You're not going to save a lot if you take one of the existing ones you're not using and renaming it and using it. So you can just rename them. And all you do is you can, let's say, let's go to one of these ones. Okay, another important thing. If you look at the value, the layer numbers, some of them have got an yeah. asterisk, like 48. It's got an asterisk no, in it. That means that layer has got data on it. Oh, Where the ones without the um, asterisks have got no layer, no, no, no data. So that means I could go for, uh, you know, the typical example, I could go say to layer 241 that says open, you're going to delete that and nothing's going to happen. It's going to tell you it's gone because it's got data on it, as you can see the asterisk yeah. there. Say again, Joe. Yeah. Say again. What what data would you have on a, on a new drawing? Well, if you do, it's because you're using my 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 template, you've you've oh, you've okay. got a few okay. set up. Yeah. But, uh, but to answer uh, but, but to answer your question, yeah. if I take another drawing, yeah. And I go to modify, delete, yeah. delete all. Now everything is deleted as if it's a blank, blank, of spanking new drawing. So if you go and look at your layer setup, yeah. that's what you're going to have. Okay, nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Yeah. So we can either use this one or we go back to our one with the template. There's already got a few things no, here. Let's make it shorter. Okay. Template. Okay. So if we go back to my layer settings, my layer setup rather, I set it by index. Again, you know, that's the way that I normally work, but you don't, you don't have to work that way because I work. It, it's, you know, what, whatever floats your boat, you know? Yeah, it works the way you do it, so because otherwise I'm going to have to reinvent the world. Okay. So I'll just fix you something that works for you, and just lead me through it. I will change it as I see fit this time. Okay. Just like what I've done right No problem. Okay. So here I can see layer 280, uh, it says yeah. walls first floor, but I know we've got a walls st uh, story one, which is the first floor. So you know, we could, for practical purpose, take that layer and, and modify that for our grid. Yeah. So to change it, I just double click in it, select it, and I can say grid. Okay. 
And you can now go and say, change the pin. Don't know what color pin. Aye? Yeah, I got it. You can always come and change it later. It's not a crisis. And then the 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 the, um, the line style you wanted was was line style six. So whatever we draw, if we want to draw a grid, we need to activate that layer 280. Now if 280 is a pain to scroll up and down, you can, there's an option here yeah. that says re-index, and I can re-index it to any number, so I can make it layer 50 or whatever, and click OK. okay. And if I select okay. anything else here and back to index, if I scroll up, you'll see, oh, too quick, too fast, you see layer 50, there's my grid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so this what's the global, what's the global thing here? What's the global thing? Which which one? Which, which oh, global. One? Okay. This that is if you look here at enable and and, and if you you can switch enable on and off. That is the, what that global means. You can switch a layer, the, the visibility off. So if I click that, it will be switched off. You see there now, you, you won't be able to see it. But being switched off is still, it is still being used by the caddy and the machine when doing mathematical uh, operations to your screen, to your video call. So if you've got a layer, let's say you've got a layer with a lot of stuff on, like trees, for instance, which is huge, you know, lots of information. Switching its visibility off here is not going to yeah. make any save the machine any 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 in any way. It's because if you do a region, it's still going to use that layer with it switch on and off here to do the calculations. However, if you if you disable it by switching this to the enable yeah. switch it off, you see it goes yeah. like a, a, a it's like dog like a grave. Like like the light has gone out. That's it. So that means. That layer has now been has been totally ignored when doing calculations to the screen call. So when you do a region with and it takes a long time, and you've got a layer with lots of trees on it, you can disable that for the moment, regen it. The first time will be slow, but then after that it will be quicker. Until you need it again, then you can switch the layer, uh, enable the layer again globally, and then regen, and then it will be back visibly for you. Okay, that's just to say for that's just performance issues. That's all it is. Right, so now we're going to draw. Now, be careful now. We've got our, our pen set as pen 1 and our layer uh, and our line style is line style 6. Okay? So now I need to select that layer. So I scroll down, I'm going to draw now on layer 50. And you just select it like that. Just, just select the drop down arrow here. Yeah? Okay. Oh, you put it down. And okay. yeah, and click on it. Yes. Right. The color is red because it's correct because it's set by layer. But the line style, yeah. be careful. The line style is set to that to be to be forced to force it to that uh, that line style. Okay. What I would do if I'm you, if I'm you, I would set this to by layer if I can just find it. Don't write the bottom. Something in the middle. Come on. Uh, there we go. I said it to by layer. By layer means it will adopt to whatever you forced it here in this dialog box. In this case, line, line style 6. Okay. The rest will be continuous. Okay. Okay. So now we set. Um, if I click on OK there, all we have to do is to start draw. So we can now go, I don't know, um, I, I normally start with construction lines. So yeah. I'll put vertical, yeah. rest, uh, vertical and horizontal yeah. construction lines down. I'll hit yeah. P on the keyboard for parallel construction line and put 6,000 because my units are millimeters. Yeah. And so I'm going to... So then I go to that continuous, the, the continuous um, grid that you decided that. Oh, there's, 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 two, there's actually two other ways you can do this. Um, the one is, I'm going to get rid of the construction lines for the moment. 
So what it is is by right clicking on a model space and setting model space workspace setup. Yeah. And there's a grid spacing here and I can say make this six meters by six meters. Display the grid. And click on OK. Can you see those dots? Yeah. Okay, so those are six by six meters. So if you snap onto okay. if you snap onto those grids, there's a grid snap here at the bottom. See there? Yeah. So if I switch that thing on, it goes like the, uh, red, red and green. And whatever I draw now, if I go to the line and say draw, you'll see it's yeah. going to snap to those points only. Okay. Um, but I, it feels to me very sluggish. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. So that's one way of doing it. But now the problem is, if I go and change my render modes, this thing changes. It, it, you get, uh, you get lines. Um, just hang one sec for me, George. Sorry, man. I need to. Okay, I'm gonna pull up there. Okay. I'm not. I'm not with you. Say again. No, no, that's fine. I'm waiting for you. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. That's that's one way of doing the grid. But now, you know, sometimes you get, if you've got construction lines and stuff, it becomes really confusing. Okay. But you can use it. I want to show you another way of doing it. And I can't remember. Just bear with me. I just need to find it. If you go to apps, and I think it's under mechanic, uh, skill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Draw by corner. Bang. Grid lines. Here we go. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go to apps. Survey. I'm just going to set this up. And under the okay. So we go to app survey. Yeah. Draw. There's an option here for grid lines. Uh, got it. Got Spacing, it. I'll say 6,000. And there, first corner from there, uh, wait till you switch this off. First corner is there, second corner is there. How's that? There we go. There's another one under, wait a minute, there's a better one under mechanical. Give me half a second. I like this, so that's how I like to start a drawing. Just click on, you can do columns and steel stuff. Okay. There's now there's another one, there, I, I thought it's under mechanical. I, I, I just need to, it's center line to the. I do look at dial grid grid. No, it's not here. There's another one. There, there, what it does is it gives you, I think it's ABC at the top and 1, 2, 3, 4 on the side. Yeah. And I think that's the better one. Uh, for the end of it, I just can't remember where to find the damn thing. Um, it doesn't matter. Not a problem. Okay, this, this is fine for now. I'll so find it. You'll find it. Yeah, I'll, 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 let's just make a note here. Find grid. So now we're going to start with our steel columns. So you're going to go to AEC, you're going to go to 
sections and stuff like that? On this joint? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. Here, here's a choice we can do. Um, and obviously you can you can carry on the way that you want to and come back and revisit the, the method I want to propose. Or you can start no, from no, no, scratch. No, 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 no. Remember I told you I'm Malaysia, okay? So, <coughs> for no, me... No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm learning... You just tell me what to do, that's just it. <laughs> I don't want to sort of touch the matter. No, no, no. So I don't have time. So whatever you think is fit, you go that way, I'll run it out. Finish. Okay, but, okay. Um, for me, I'm a lazy act. So for me to go and do elevations and sections manually takes a long time. Um, it, but it's nice. I mean, it, I love working with Caddy. But, but the thing is, time is money. And the more you spend on drawings, instead of getting more stuff done, it's a problem. So no, you fine. can draw that's it with problem. normal 2D like you're doing now so there's nothing wrong with the way you're going about it now um, because for the steel here this will be your profiles as you select them on plan um, it'll be yeah. probably steel and then IP200 or whatever oh, it's already got selected yeah. so you can just hit it ok and then I go right click my snap menu and I will select intersection when you say auto snap, so now you're going to intersection. I think that's what it's always what I was used to doing. I thought we were going auto snap, so auto snap is not to be not the way we're going to go. We're going to go intersection. It's exactly right. Am I right? Well, in this case, auto snap has been set to go for intersection, but it's okay. but it's also but it's also set to go amongst uh, intersection to other things as well. Now, at this point in time, it's not going to affect us that much because we don't have a lot of other stuff. Uh, on our screen, so it might have, might not affect you at this point in time. But I'm thinking ahead. You know, uh, uh, um, your drawing is not going to stay like this forever. You're going to start putting things on here um, as, as you progress in your drawing. Which means then, if you select auto snap, you might snap to the incorrect option or the incorrect snap. So that's why I yeah. say force it here to intersection. That means it will jump to those intersections only, okay. not yeah, midpoint. Okay, cool. So I could stick that one down there. If I zoom yeah. in, there's your column. Right. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. All I'm going to do is going to go to the AEC. Steel members here. AEC. Yeah, and I'm going to do a go to specific eye, sec uh, eye section. I'm going to use it as a column. The center is right. the uh, origin point. You want to select an IP200. What is the height yeah. of this column, George? Do you know? It's, it's the back. It's a, so you see, it's a curved group. The back is front, and the back is two. And you pull up my joint again. It's probably two. So it's two at the back. Turn around. Okay, you type in the height for me in that box there. Oh, that's too I'm just going to pull up in a second. So it's going to be the same. I'll put the second if you don't mind. George, give me one second. Just give me one George. <coughs> Okay, brilliant. Three five, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna click OK, or you click OK. That's fine. <coughs> Go right click, and I'm going to select intersection again. Okay. So I'm gonna select just the p the very next one there. Yeah. Okay. Now something that's really very cool, I haven't shown you yet, with nothing selected. Yeah. If I right click, yeah. there's an option as soon as it comes up. There's an option that yeah. says viewport. Now, I know we've got viewports on sheets, and I don't want to confuse you with this, George. 
but this 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 can be a potentially a big a big 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 time saver. I can select okay. my I can select my my model space. Let's say in two vertical yeah. viewports. So in this in this window, can you see the blue the blue uh, border? Yeah. That's the active one. So I can now okay. uh, zoom into that one. Now, if I click on this side, it becomes blue on this side, and I'm going to zoom into this one. There are two yeah. separate. There are two separate um, I beams. Images of the same thing. Uh, no, two different ones. So they're, they're just too far apart. If I split the screen up, I can zoom closer in them, closer in, into both of them at the same time. Yeah. So if I draw a line here. Yeah. See, nothing happens there, but if I zoom out a bit here, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. can you see there's, there's the line I drew on this side? Okay, okay, I've got okay so all I did was that. So, if you okay, but I, I don't, don't want to confuse you, let me, let me just hit the screen back. Um, let's go to viewport single, let's, let's go back to one. Um, but, but you saw now that they, they, they are typically identical. Okay, now if I orbit this, so I hit the shift key on the, on the keyboard and the mouse button yes, yes. and I rotate. Shift key and, and what? The left button of the mouse. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Can, 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 can you see what's happening here? shift key on the keyboard and the left button of the mouse you push and pull it. <laughs> okay, can you see the can you see the difference now, George? Yes. Now how do you get it back? And you just press T for top view. T for top view. Yeah, there we go. Okay, whoa, 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 Yeah, you ba basically push uh, as, as if you would uh, draw, drag a line or something, but you just heave, you, you keep the shift key pressed in and push on the screen and it'll start orbiting. Shift, is that shift, yeah, go for it. You, no, you do it. Shift and left, here we go, there we go. Yeah, you're turning it. It doesn't look like much because you zoomed onto the 2D one, that's why. If you zoom onto the other one, into one on the right hand uh, side, the you'll. Right hand side, yeah. yeah, so zoom out a bit, so roll the, scroll the wheel mouse down. Okay. Yeah. So, must I go to the right? The right toggle. Yeah, no, just scroll out a bit. Like that. And there's the. There we go. But how, how come this one came up and not the other one? Because, give me the mouse for a second, George. When when I did this, I did this with the AEC one, this one. Yeah. When you did it, you selected the steel and that one. Okay. So this, with the blue, is all two-dimensional. 2D. Okay. And that's why yeah. I'm asking, are you going to do elevations and sections? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. And what is, what is, what is AEC, Architectural, Engineering and Construction, is, the, is this one here. So let's make this easy for you. Let, let's, let's, uh, let's make this a bit less complicated. I'm going to go right click. No, So let's go and create a toolbar, create a new toolbar, and let's call it George. Yeah. And if I click 
click on a car and it accepts it that it already exists. Sorry, I forgot you, you've got one here somewhere. <laughs> ah, I caught myself, guys. Give me a second. Let me just find it. I did it, George. It just switched off. That's why I didn't see it. There we go. Okay. So this, this is one that you've, you've played with, I, I, I assume. Yeah, just hang on. Just where did you find it again? You right click in this in, in this menu area, select okay, right select customize. But you don't have to go that far. You can just hit it here. You can just switch it there on and off here. Right click there okay. again, and you can say switch it back on. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to go right click, customize, and this incidentally is the yeah. same for Word and Excel as well. Man. I've never done an Excel course, but I'm, I I I uh, merely go about modifying my, my, my toolbars on my Excel uh, the way I want it. And no, no one taught me. I, they just showed me how to do it in CAD. So I'm going to go to commands yep. and I'm going to look for um, AEC uh, what is that? Uh, that one. Okay, what's AEC? Uh, AEC, that's, that's, that's this is my steel members, mass elements and, and poly, uh, polygon metrics and stuff. But you're gonna you're gonna use this one. Still member. So I'll just drag it. I'm gonna drop it in there. So if I go down, okay. you'll find another one that says steel. There we go. Okay. So if I click on, I think it was steel one. Was it? Uh, it should be steel one. Oh, there we go. It's that one. So I'll just drag it and I drop it in here. So if I click a close, now you've got the three D and the two D together. You select which one you want. Simple as that. You don't have to go and drill down here and find it. It's right there at your fingertips. So if I want the 3D one, I select the green one. That's it. And now, because I'm at an angle, as, as, as I stick it down, you'll see you know, it just places it. Okay. Yeah, obviously you're going to... When you... When you gonna yeah, when you looked at, at the from the top view... Where is it now? When you look at it from the top view, it looked identical. Yeah. That's why I showed you both. From top view, you can't see the difference. But the big thing is this, George. When I start now, let's, let's go in together and say, come on. This is the same one. I'm going to go right click and say uh, intersection. Yeah. One there, one there. I hope I'm plonking it down because I don't think it ha is happening. There we go. There we go. And there we go. No. There we go. So if I over this, shift and left button of the mouse, you'll check that's what's happening. Um, I can just say take that one, select that one, right click, and I can say copy from any origin point type 6000 and use the down arrow, and it's going to copy to this point as well. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this whole row. Yeah. Yes. That's it. I'm selecting them. I'm gonna say right click. Yeah. I just picked on them. Yeah. Right click, copy, or you could use the C on the keyboard. It's a shortcut key. That's really yeah. quick, but you can't, you know, I, I'm going to miss you if I do it here. So I'm going to select copy. It yeah. says at the bottom, indicate the origin point from yeah. where you want to copy. You could go and say, okay, go to right click. Okay. Inter That's it. So I could snap from here to there. I could. You can also, I could also go, let's go back to freehand. I could pick anywhere from there. Yeah. And I'm going to type yeah. in 6,000. You'll see at the keyboard here at the bottom, it says 6,000. Yeah. And up arrow. You can hit the up arrow for yeah. on, on your keyboard if, if you want to do it for me, please. Okay. Can I do this? Yeah, just hit the up arrow key. Just type up arrow key. Yeah. Yeah, but and I can hit position. You don't have to. You, you can just hit the up arrow key for me. 
Up arrow key on the keyboard. I've done that. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your num lock is on. <laughs> use, use, the arrow, oh. the, use the arrow keys. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. Right. Uh. Okay. Uh. Okay, whoa. No, I'm gonna just, we're gonna say no. Okay, we're gonna say right click, copy. From that point, I'm gonna type in 6000 and use the up arrow key on the keyboard. Can you see? And I can type again, 6,000. Up arrow, up arrow. Up arrow, yeah, the, the, the power key. Here we go. Yeah. Up arrow. Can you check? But that, that might take long. So I'm gonna undo, can undo, 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 and undo one more. Okay, so I'm going to select them again. And don't worry, George, what I'm doing here, I'm recording. So as soon as we finish, I'm going to compile it and give you a link to download this whole video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think, really I think it will. So let's see. I'm going to go to modify, transform, move, copy, and repeat. Say again, George. Transform, move, copy, yeah. move, copy, and repeat. Yes. Okay. Mm. Select that. Then it says, all right. How do? What do you want to move? I want to move whatever is selected. If you take the scope, scope is whatever is on your drawing, as you can see. That's dangerous. Obviously, I don't want to do that. So in this case, I'm going to go for selected because I've already selected them. As you can see, as you can see there. Eh? Okay. So the translation type, translate type, what do you want to do? I want to repeat up to a point. I can say repeat it equally for me 10 times or whatever. But I've got no idea what you want to do here, so I'm just going to hit one of these. So I, I normally use this one, repeat to a point. Click OK and it says indicate the position to translate from. Now this is quite important. If you, if, if you, if you, if you, um, your answer here is, is incorrect. You're going to have an incorrect drawing. So this is quite important what you do here. I can say again... George, say again. Sounds like you're underwater. Say again. I only heard, I only heard the last okay. bit. Give me a second. I'm gonna give. Yeah, that's better, George. Okay, thank you. Okay. By the way, where do you buy your passion? Where, where do you get it? I'm going to the dojo after this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the crap out of everything when I get there. So don't worry. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, you were saying about the orientation, I think, eh? You were saying about top to bottom, left to right. I wasn't. I couldn't hear. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I wasn't willing to go from left to right. Obviously, the right arrow, not up arrow, to the right arrow. Okay, can you do top? No top problem. Top. Yeah, no problem. Okay. But 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 what's the width going up? What what would that be? It will always be six meters. Yeah, but how far? Right. What, what's the, what's the total total but width? Eight, eight meters, so it's uh, eight. Eight, seven. It will be uh, seven by eight, or seven by eight, or six. And 42 meters, okay. So, what, what I could have done is this. Um, I'm going to select. I'm going to select those. Yeah. And delete them. I'm going to take that one. Yeah. Go to modify. Transform. Yeah. Copy and repeat. Select the point. I'm going to grab it from. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going I'm to interrupt you for a sec. Yeah. yeah. The top columns are shortened in the background. Yeah, that's fine. The 
You say the highlight is one is two four and the other one is three six. That's it. That's it. So that, that, that's close. It's a close structure. Mm, okay. So let's let's kill that one. I'm going to hit this two member from your new toolbar, and we're going to say that one is two point four. Got it. Got it. Click OK. Got it. Excellent. So right click. Come on, you right click. Auto snap, visual snap, intersection. So there's my 2.4. Right. Very good. So the 2.4 goes up another. So if it's. Stay there. Stay there. There's a building. It's a several buildings. One is a lot of crosshair, the other one will come to the air, but this two, uh, this one first, okay. that one in just bits and pieces. So it's still possible, but only. Um, Nothing really. Architecture is brilliant, but it's, it's, it's that's what it is. That's yeah. fine. Okay, so we're going to copy this one in this direction. Yeah. Am I right? That's exactly right. Well, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's seven, seven grids. Seven that way. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to go modify, transform, move, copy, and repeat. Repeat to a point, and I'm going to say from that point there. Yeah. To that point there. Yeah. And you want it seven times in total, then. That's what I want to front and back one. Oh, okay. So let's select both. And go modify. Transform. Modify. Copy and repeat. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay, stay, stick with that one. From that point to that point. Yeah. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And click there. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. You could have you you you've, you could have said if I take that one, um, I could go and say modify, transform, copy, repeat. I can say uh, repeat this uh, six times. Okay, seven times. No, you want seven total. Remember, you've got one already, so it will be six times. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. From that point, uh, I'm just going to go up. i say from that point yeah. to that point. There you go. Yeah. You yeah. don't even need a picking grid, but <laughs> you get the idea. This is, this is what it actually I get is. it. I get it. So we can yeah. uh, undo, undo. Right. Okay, so now we've got two. We've got three and a half and 2.4. What? Uh, um, is, is that the total width of the building? On this one, yeah. Ah, okay. That's why I was. It's, it's several buildings. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, yes, I, I was confused. I thought the 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 width was 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 seven point four. Okay, no, it's 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 seven point four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
and the next one's hatching, so you can limit so it in quickly. Sorry, that, that one, that one was what? Lines Sorry. and curves, text, text. hatching, ah. hatching dimensions. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll get into that on Friday. Yeah. There we go. See, you have to speak to me. So you can go immediately and go and give a vertical section. Yeah. So if I click on vertical section, quick section. Uh, and, I, and I'll do this more than once, don't stress about it. So I'm going to go from that point. I'm going to keep it horizontal by keeping the tab key pressed in. Click on that point. And I'm going to go option N. And it's going to ask me which direction do you want to look at. Can you see the arrow? Yeah. So I'm looking that direction. Please yeah. include everything. And now it says where do you want to place your, 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 your section. So I'm going to place it, say, there. So there is your, your elevation is already done. Nothing much yet, but I mean, <laughs> we haven't drawn much. But that's yeah. what you've got. So, typically, I could do the same thing. For, for this direction, from there. V-section, -section, yes, that's for vertical -section. section. Yeah, yeah. Option N, and, and very important, you have to include everything. If you miss something, it's not going to show. So go a little bit further over your building. You don't know if it's later on you want to do an overhang or something, so don't go right to the edge. So yeah. I'm going to take that, and where do you want to place it? Oh, I don't know, I'm going to somewhere stick it here. So there's that, those two columns. Yeah. Because, now I know this looks like nothing yet, but you've got some form of um, roof structure which looks to me Depending looks like a yeah. mono pitch right? Yeah. am I right? yeah okay and I wanted to actually ask you to put the, the, the cross beam onto it the cross beam? the cro cross beam across the top of the cross oh yeah okay Is it gonna, it's gonna go over there from the long yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so you want to do a cross beam over there? Yeah, from there, from this one. Okay, okay so you. Um, let me just think about this one. Okay, let me show you how cross beam works. It's actually really simple, uh, but you need to know how these things work. They are rules. There's a beam. <coughs> yeah. I can show by points or by polyline. Okay. So points, I can say, okay, from click OK. Come on, you. There we are. I can click from there and I keep the tab keep tab keep pressed in and stick it down. There's my cross beam. Okay. 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 So that <laughs> it's going to be at an angle. Yeah. So what you can do is. Now remember the 2D, 3D setting here at the bottom. Can you see where my cursor is? Yeah, I got it. Let's get yeah. rid of the hatching of the catalog for the moment. We'll, we'll load it down to get some more space on the screen. 3D means I'm snapping off my UCS. UCS, remember, is where this uh, grid of mine is sitting, eh? the, the UCS plane. Yeah. So if it's set to 3D, I'm snapping... Yeah. Um, what's the right word now? Um, I'm snapping... I'm not forcing my snap onto that plane. If it's set on 2D, it yeah. is forcing my snap onto that 2D, irrespective of whether I click on a three-dimensional object or not, whether it's in the air or not, it's going to force it down. Uh, it will project it from whatever point you've got, right perpendicular down onto that plane. Obviously, you don't yeah. want this because this is what's going to happen. If I draw now my, my beam, and I'm going to say on points, I'm fine, click OK, I'm going to go right click, um, say uh, in point snap. Um, I'm just going to snap on one of these points there. Yeah. See what happens. It's grabbing at the bottom. Yeah, yeah that's wrong. It is because of the 2D setting. So I can snap at the top one there, it's going to go down to the bottom. Okay. Because it's set on 2D. So it's snapping, it's, it's, it's projecting whatever point I, sh uh, I, I, I indicate projects it down onto the UCS. So, if I now go and set it, set it to 3D, yeah. and I do the same thing, so back to your toolbar here, 
Clica aqui, mexe aqui, clica aqui, clica aqui, estou atrás de dar. Yeah, I'll tell you why. It's nothing wrong with what we're doing wrong. It's the way that it has been designed. For whatever reason, you cannot do it that way. In 25, which is released now in a month's time, you actually, it does it, um, it doesn't lock it onto the ECS. Whether it's two or three. Okay. Okay. Can I just suggest something? Yeah. What happens, uh, let's go to, on the side, yeah. on, the, on the side of the base, can I do it? Please do. show you something much nicer you can do that okay. there's nothing wrong with it that's perfectly so you could typically go and say give me now with the uh, structural member instead of points I will select polyline okay. and okay, I, will, yeah. I will hit it but now so it's at an, there we go it's at that angle for you but remember it's still lying on the ground you have to pick it up can you see there okay. and if you have to rotate you have to rotate it but don't worry I'll show you now to do it but you are actually perfectly on the correct, on the right track. So I don't know why can you say that you like dwarf or not coming right with it because uh, you you. I just need to show you what the stuff we need to find it. But you're on the right track, so I'm going to delete that for the moment. Come on, okay. come on, let's delete that for you. Okay. I'm going to draw. Remember now, I'll be drawing uh, um, <laughs> with with dotted lines because of our setting here, ne? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can always change later, so don't worry about it. Just if you if you yeah. don't don't get confused. I'm gonna start drawing from. Uh, let's go for from that end point there. Yeah. I'm gonna go up. Yeah. I'm gonna go to that point there. Yeah. Center. Yeah. And center down. Yeah. You with me there? Yeah. So now look at this. Structural member. I section everything stays the same. Polyline, what was right, and I click on the line. So now I've got to let's just orbit this a bit. Here we go. things here. I just want to check something quickly, George. Give me a second. Um, I can't see the bloody thing. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Is that the, that's not the right way around, is it? No, no, it's not. It's not because it's a, the board should be facing you towards each other. That's the wrong way, but I guess it, I guess it's just not as good. Okay, can I just fix it no, for it's you? Uh, it's just it's all turned 90 degrees on the, on the, on the center. On okay. The center. Okay, now this this is a bit of hardcore what i'm going to show you now um if you do get confused please don't be too harsh yourself because this this is a this is a this is a bummer <laughs> don't um, well i'll i'll show you this um here we're going to the brain of the whole thing here so we're going to this and we're going to rotate that by 1.5708 and we're going to yeah, rotate that one point <laughs> I'll show you now why. Um, that's it. That's what you want, am I correct? Okay. Um, you know, like the magicians, they make you like, like optical illusion stuff. <laughs> this is typically one of those. What did it, what it did is, and it took us a long time to find it out or to figure it out. Well, it took me a long time. I never realize what what the problem was that uh, that angle comes in zero radiance yeah, huh? so if i edit the member style now this is the this is the way that this whole thing is generated in caddy for you so if i edit this and, and again don't stress if you use this again you don't have to do it again 
But the rotation was zero radians, and they never change it to degrees. They've changed it now in 25. I got it today. I haven't tested it yet because I haven't had time yet. But then I can put in 90 degrees. But but 90 degrees is one point uh, is one point five seven or eight radians. That that's how I know that. So I do look super intelligent. It took me a shit long time to figure that out, but we did. So so now what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to take, now that's one component now. If I click on one of them, it's one, let's grab it. It's one solid yeah. component. Yeah. So can you see this command here that says 3D rotation? Yeah. I'm going to 3D rotate around the UCS of the X. So you can see the, the red. I'm going, to, I'm going to pick this thing up. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go for selected yeah. and anti-clockwise 90 degrees. Click OK. And, and I'll do it then I'll do it again for you slowly I just want to show you so I zoom in there and I grab the bottom section it's gonna pick it up can you see that okay now I'm gonna take that I just wanna, and I'll, 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 I'm gonna say right to copy I'm gonna grab that endpoint be careful now you've got to snap accurately on that endpoint now I'm going to place it, I'm going to replace it. So while I'm pulling this thing in through here, I'm going to say and rotate, right click, right click. and rotate. Right click. I want to go anti-clockwise 90 degrees. Okay. You got it? Now yeah. I've got one little issue here, I can't snap onto my um, steel section here. Yeah. Do not, do not press it. Yeah, it's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this one. I'm going to take this one and say rotate it. Okay. 90 degrees around that intersection point. Okay. There. Yeah. So now I've got that point. Yeah. So now I can go and take take my, my total member. I can say, yeah. uh, like we can say copy, doesn't matter. I always go and delete it later on. Let's say copy it from that endpoint there. Yeah. And I want to stick it. And that one there. Now I can take that one. Modify. Transform. Copy and repeat. Equally, equally spaced. I'm going to go from that intersection point yeah. from that one there that's the next in the, 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 the next instance is there and the last instance is here yeah. Yeah. just like that now here's the power of the now 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 we're going to experience how this thing the power of this whole system. I can take that one and delete it. I can take that line and delete it. That, remember, that's our section. If I click on that, you'll see here it's a it's a AC AC DB 2D section. Okay. So I'm going to take that section because we added stuff. So I'm going to right click and say regenerate the section. Yeah. Reselect. Currently we've got 34 items in there. I'm going to reselect it. And let's go to freehand. I'm just going to orbit a bit and turn it so I don't get these other things in. Uh, it's a little bit away. Come on. There you go. Make sure you, in you, you, you include everything that you need to include. Yeah. Now it's got 31. You can check it's changed. And it always says yeah. OK. Here's your section. So when we start now putting steel on and all the all the, the, the roof cover, you just update the section, and, and yeah. you're drawing updates. Nothing stops you now again to again to come and draw on this in here. I can come and, and, and draw on this here. There's construction lines. You can draw. You want to put a bullnose on there. You can draw it with normal lines. Nothing forces you to model it in 3D because that takes time, eh? Especially if it's non-standard yeah. stuff. But 
you know, the guys used to do this in really long ways. I find this is quick. Draw a polyline for that profile, pick it up, rotate it, and, and place it on the points, and there you, there you go. You, you've got your, your, your um, lot of work done for, for elevation. So if I need to do the other side, I do a quick section. I'm going to stick it down, say, from that point there. Elevate to there. Right click, option in, very important. Just read the screen at the bottom, you know, because you can step the, the sections and carry on, but uh, when you finish, you go option in, show the direction, show the direction you want to see. I think it's up to there. And I can place it, let's say, um, let's snap onto that line. Yeah. Uh, where is it? That point, let me snap the line. That point there. Just move this one. Just move it away. So there's the one. There's this. There's your left, then right, or north and east, or north and south, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. There your elevation. So as you, as you start putting things in, you update your elevation. You can, and if you hit this one here, that 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 function there, it updates all of them. Yeah. So you can just hit that thing, and they update it automatically. Now you <laughs> don't get a fright. I've already got a few set up here. So you yeah. see here, it's one I've set up. We can just delete these that I've set up. And this one here. So whatever you do when you when you, when you, when you draw in here, you just hit this that function there. Get, that one update of the small section. Okay. Say again? Yeah. Say again, George? No, no, I'm 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 Something else I want to ask when you when you do this, I want to actually do one of these. Uh, Go for it. Sections like that. Go for it. Okay. Uh, can we just grab that lock and start again? Not that one. Just like this. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna just. Uh, I'll hold you. No, I'm not. That's not. That's that, that's that's your elevation, eh? Okay, bye. That's your elevation. Oh, yeah, that's okay. So what you can do, yeah. uh, you could... I want to just that, it, it, it do that, as you said, by placing that beam across the top of those two columns. So that, that, that to me is something I... Because the next thing I want to do when I've done that, I want to put the lift handles on. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what you need to do, so you I'm need you need to place two yeah, columns down. Good. You need to place two columns down, one at three point five and one point two and one at two point four. Oh, those two grid points. Okay. So, so 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 my suggestion is leave these here and just use the top section of our grid as if it's a new drawing. Yeah. So you don't get rid of the bottom stuff, you can still use them. So just use this part of the drawing here and do the exercise there. Go for it. Okay. So I'm gonna copy. Um, Don't even copy. Just just go to your beams and, and put them in. Like your columns. Like like this. No. Yeah. The top. Yeah. Give give me the mouse. There you go. That one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I want you to okay, learn I was, that. I was gonna copy the bottom. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and the top body line. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Where do you wanna put? You wanna put a column down? No, I want to put the two columns again. Okay, so, so be careful. Right. Be careful, this is a beam. On the left hand side. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want the beam. I want the columns. Yeah, okay, so on the I left hand side. Up, so. so on the left hand side, select column. Or yeah. left. Where's your, where's your mouse? Up, up, up. No, you've got the IP turn and select it. Go up more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Column. There we go. And what's the height? 2.4 is the one. Click OK. okay. Go to intersection snap mode. That's it. So, intersection. Okay. You, you, you were in construction intersection. Yes. One down. There we go. Yes. 
That's the one. No, it's wrong, man. No, it's not. It's just now I've got to turn it and open again. Okay, so press escape because you're still busy in that function. Okay. You're going to play some more down. So right click and it's option M or escape. 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 Escape, you See the command line, it still says indicate, there we go. Right, so select it. Yeah. Right click. Rotate. Now look what it says. Enter the angle or zero for dynamic. You know you want to you want to change it at 90 degrees. So type in 90. Right. You press Z. Or something. You get something else there. Okay, so type in 90. Is your num lock off again? No, it's off. Yeah, switch your num lock on. Because I think you're hitting page up, page down, or something. Okay. So now type 90. Okay. No, something happened. Okay, let me try again on top. Okay, escape. Okay. Escape. Let's get out of there. Oh. Okay, no, let's go, let's go back. Let's undo, here we go. Select it. Select the, the, the column, right click. Rotate. Type in 90 degrees. Here we go, press enter. Now it says point about which you rotate. You're already on that center point, so don't click. You just press enter again. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Hit enter. Okay. Hit enter. Yes. Yeah. Well, why is it not fast? Done it. I'll, I'll just do it again. Okay. And we're going to do this one here. That's it. So, so hit the, if, yes, here we go. Okay. Two D one. So cancel that one. Okay. Need the green one. George, now you're putting a tricky one. one. <laughs> you're putting a two D one in there. Okay. <laughs> it's a flat one. <laughs> That's a flat one. The two D one. That one then. <laughs> delete that yeah. one. I delete that one. There we go. You delete. That's it. Okay, go again. So you selected the 2D one there, not the 3D one. The command. No, the wrong one. What? <laughs> yeah. No, not that one. Escape. Which one? The second one. There we go. That one. That's uh, uh, yeah, there we go. I got it. 3.5. That's fine, man. If you uh, make a mistake, you learn from it, so don't stress. 3.6. Oh, sorry, 3.6, okay. Now hit the point. There we go. Now escape. Escape, escape. Escape. Okay, select it. Okay, you got more than one there. You got more than one there. Can you see? No, no, just delete yeah. the other one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so delete that one. There's, there's two. Delete that one. Can you see the selection? Yeah, click on it. Delete. Click again. Now uh, there's only one. Can you see the, the other way it, it, it uh, highlights? 90. Enter, enter. Yep. Enter twice. Oh no, you clicked somewhere else. Now you bug it. Okay, so right click, okay, rotate. Type in 90. And enter, but now you have to, okay, press enter. After pressing enter, right click and select 
this uh, is uh, intersection snap mode. There you go. No, no, yeah. One, yeah, yeah, that one. And indicate that point. There we go. That's it. Look, if, 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 I, if I compile this video and give you this video, you can replay this thing and, and you can play through all your all the mistakes you've made because you've made a few mistakes, which is cool because then you know what, what to look out for, you know? Yeah, right now it's going to be good. I got a little section. Create the section so you can look at it from the top. Okay, so we're going to create it. Press P, P for top. We're going to go to. Press P for top. Press P for top. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, now zoom into that area there, top left. Zoom into the top left area when you put those oh, two the columns. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm still quick. I'm still quick, yeah, okay, reset. Okay, quick select, okay. quick section, yeah. So indicate the. Yeah. Where are you indicating now? Well, where do you want to go? Where are you drawing? Uh, I can make. Okay, uh, now, give me the mouse for a second. Okay. Give me the mouse for a second. Give me a second, give me a second. I've got the feelings up here on the top left. See there? Oh, okay. It's there, that, first, that, that second line. So if you look at it from the top, only the reason why I'm saying look at it from the top. I had a client one day that, <laughs> that did an elevation of a, of a dormitory and he was out with one yeah. degree because his, his view was out. And the whole thing came out skew. It took him a weekend just to trim the lines. Instead of he could have just changed it to and, and regen it and it was there. So it's sitting here. Yeah. There's the one. Yes, the thing is now slowing. There's the one. And here's the other one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So now you carry on. You kind of uh, go for V section, vertical section. Say so quick section. Which side do you want to do? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now keep your tab key pressed in. There we go. So tab. Okay, did you click? Right click, right click. Option end. Right click. Option, option end. Yeah. Okay, now you click more than once there. Okay. Go again. Yeah. Quick, quick section. And let's put a line in. That, that, that's obviously the only thing you can do. Eh? It's just snap on the on your grid, extending the the boundaries of the section that you want to create. Ah, the phone is going funny again. Where are we now? Ah, lost connection. Okay, and stick it down to the top. Or wherever. Yeah, but you see what, George, this elevation is skewed. Can you see? So don't, so don't, so, so don't even put it down. No, it's, I won't even go with it. Because it's going to be out. Yeah, go back. Okay. So what, what I'll do from you, what you can do, George, yeah. if you give me the, the mouse for yeah. a second, you can put a construction line down, let's say one there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes, the phone is breaking up again. Okay, now put the vertical section down and you snap onto those intersection points between the grid line and the construction line at the top and the bottom. Go for it. So V section. Yeah. Quick section, go to, no, 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 go right click, intersection, right click, 
snap knot intersection yeah there's the first one and the down 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 yeah there we go no 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 yes yeah sorry there's a delay here um okay and now include that yeah but something's wrong here george you're cutting you're cutting you're cutting the top section eh so oh, okay. yeah, 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 sorry, that was cheap, that was cheap. No, 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 this is a wrong snap. Okay, go for it again. Okay, quick section. Go to, now select it. Okay, go to, yes, intersection snap mode. No, 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 intersection. Construction is, is for combination of construction lines only, where intersection is combination construction lines and lines. So that one, yeah. There we go. Uh, crikey, my the deleted one. Okay, you can hit that one, that's fine. Right click, option end. And include the whole thing. That's it. That's perfect. Brilliant, you got it. Now look at the bottom. Indicate position for section. Where do you want to place it? So let me look up. Yeah, there, there we go. You got it. That's now, now, George, just the line is bad. Give me a second. I'm going to phone you back. Um, okay. Um, what I'm going to do is.